Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. In the last more than two years, I have covered more than 2000 large language models which are used for text generation. Whenever I do a installation or testing video of a large language model, the most common question I get is which model is the best or which model is suited for which use case or to have a comparison of these models. I have done few comparisons but it is a hard ask because then flame wars of model start and then because everyone has its own favorite model, model provider, there are heaps of models in different modalities and use cases. So that is why what I am going to do in this video, I am going to do a compre comprehensive comparison of some of the most interesting text generation large language models under 10 billion parameters available today. The reason for selecting models specifically within this sub 10 billion range is simple yet powerful. These smaller models strike an excellent balance between performance, cost efficiency and flexibility making them suitable for a broader set of practical applications and accessible to individuals or small teams with limited resources. We are going to compare capabilities, architecture, training techniques, multilingual support and suitable use cases across popular state-of-the-art models such as from Alibaba, from Google, from IBM, from Meta, from Cohere, from DeepSeek, from Mistral, from Microsoft and few others. Now, this is by no means a comprehensive list. This is by no means the best of the model. So please keep in mind just because I'm comparing these models doesn't mean that they are the top models. Some of them are even a bit older. And the reason why I have included them is that because I have used these models in real world for real world use cases. I have seen these models being used quite a lot and their performance has been quite good. I will give you just one quick example before we start the comparison. I am not comparing Llama 4 in this list because for obvious reason, Llama 4 really is struggling on various benchmarks. So that is why I have gone with older Llama model and same is the case with the Mistral model. But still, I think both of these models from these companies are very much relevant today. Having said that, let's start our comparison. First up, let's have a general information about the model and you can see that these are the models I am going to cover. This first table is providing us a quick overview showcasing the general essence of each model. So we are highlighting here who is developing uh, which model, their parameter size to be exact and most of them are using the transformer architecture and then you can see that here I have also gone with some of the suggested use case. Now, if you look at this table, this table, for instance, Quen 2.57 billion instruct by Alibaba uses an advanced optimized transformer architecture that incorporates techniques like rope, swiglue activation and RMS norm. With around 7.61 billion parameter, it hits a sweet spot balancing complexity and efficiency. Given its rich domain specialization, particularly in coding, math and structured data processing, it's recommended strongly for precise structured tasks needing high accuracy output. Then you can see the JAMA 3 1 billion instruction tuned is also included. It is another impressive smaller scale model developed by Google DeepMind. It uses Google's optimization workflows with JAX and advanced data filters during training. Despite having just 1 billion parameter, its intellectually dense training makes it suitable for summarization, question answering and light reasoning. The smaller model size also enables easy deployment even on local or compute constrained environments, making it accessible widely. Then you can see I have included IBM's Grey Knight model in 8 billion size. It features a generalized transformer architecture aiming primarily at versatile instruction following and generative tasks. With 8 billion parameters, <clears throat> it embodies a general purpose model structure making it practical for broad text generation and dialogue tasks without heavy domain specialization. 
and at this point i will remind you again that we have covered each and every one of these models with local installation and thorough testing so if you are interested in learning more about these models and or to see them in action just search the channel okay then you can see we have llama 3.2 3 billion instruct from meta which uses grouped query attention into its auto regressive transformer architecture with fine tuning involving reinforcement learning with human feedback it excels specifically in multilingual dialogue systems and summarization tasks its relatively compact size around 3 billion enhances performance consistency and inference efficiency while retaining meaningful communication capabilities and then we have Cohere's Aya expands 8 billion which is a transformer medium sized powerhouse carefully optimized for multilingualism with extensive multilingual preference training safety tuning and innovative model merging techniques its strongest advantage lies in multilingual text generation scenario its 8 billion parameter provide richly expressive linguistic output in numerous languages ideal for internationally facing applications then we have DeepSeek R1 Distilled Coin 1.5. We also have a Llama version in it, but I'm going to go with Coin. I think I found it a bit better. It achieves extraordinary reasoning capabilities at just 1.5 billion parameters, developed via a new training re regimen involving reinforcement learning and model distillation from larger models. It specializes in logic, math reasoning, and structured analytical tasks. Its smaller footprint ensures low-cost, lightweight integration, ideal for math-oriented educational tools or logical inference systems. And then we have Mistral 7 billion, that is an advanced version of Mistral AI's popular open source series that expands on the standard transformer design with an extended vocabulary and integrated function calling capability. As a general purpose instruction following model, it's particularly effective for common NLP tasks requiring procedural instruction adherence, such as automated workflow system or interactive application backends. And then we have Microsoft's 5.4 Mini that uses an optimized efficient transformer architecture to deliver stronger logical reasoning and math performance. Trained predominantly with curated synthetic data enriched for reasoning pathways, 5.4 Mini is most suitable in scenarios involving complex question answering and computationally structured reasoning process, particularly when compute power or latency constraints are critical factors for your use case. Okay, so now we know about this model. Next up, around context and multilingual support. This is a very, very important factor. So context length and multilingual capacity of models significantly impact their applicability. Models such as Coin 2.5 and 5.4 Mini possess context sizes of up to 128K tokens, enabling them to handle exceptionally longer inputs and capture greater detail and nuance in interaction. Coin 2.5 in particular explicitly emphasizes global multilingual capability with robust support for 29 languages, making it attractive for large-scale structured data applications internationally. Gemma's ability to handle very long input up to 32k tokens and multilingual accessibility in over 140 languages make, make it suited for worldwide deployment scenarios such as global information extraction, multilingual summarization, and culturally diverse dialogue system. Aya Expense 8 billion has been designed to handle 8k token context and actively developed with special multilingual training, excels specifically in multilingual conversational AI and knowledge retrieval implementations or translation. Meta Lama 3.2 officially supports eight main languages and is ideal where multilingual needs are limited to a particular set of languages, yet robust dialogue optimization is required, and that is a proven fact. Models without explicitly um, listed context such as Granite or in some cases, uh, I would say DeepSeek, still manage industry standard around 2 to 8K tokens and that is sufficient for typical use cases like dialogue systems, basic instruction following tasks, and shorter text generation scenarios. Also, their multilingual capabilities are broad, but they are quite regional in my opinion. Okay, and then we have some more technical in-depth comparison 
The training methodology adopted by models deeply influences their capabilities. For example, Coin 2.5 um, combines large-scale pre-training with specific instruction-based fine-tuning on mathematically pre um, precise structurally formatted data. This targeted training regime is meticulous that ensures that it reliably excels in targeted math and coding use cases. JAMA uses optimized multilingual pre-training dataset combined with specialized instruction tuning and that emphasizes reasoning heavy tasks such as summarization and question answering uniformly across languages. Gray Knight's generalized instruction tuning enables it to flexibly adjust to various tasks without heavy domain specific biases that makes it ideal for general AI assistant purposes or generic instruction following use cases. Lama 3.2 Two uses RLHF, which we already have discussed, that gives quite a high quality dialogue scenario. And whereas AYA expends 8 billion is gone through preference tuning and innovative model merging techniques, particularly tuned towards producing culturally nuanced, safe multilingual text based interactions. So, globally facing a responsible deployment, AYA is quite good. Whereas we all know DeepSeek R1 Distill. Uh, has innovative reinforcement learning pipeline pair with larger model distillation and that significantly enhances its reasoning capabilities at a tiny parameter scale. Such reasoning centric fine tuning highlights its use in math puzzles, logical assertions, maybe sophisticated chatbots or educational applications. Mistral and 54 Mini, they both also apply a highly targeted, especially 54 goes with synthetic dataset driven training and supervised and direct preference optimization fine tuning, which makes it quite suitable for calculation heavy assistant roles or logic based problem solving. So look, a lot of other models. In summary, I could only say that this is by no means any uh, sort of favoritism here in terms of model. This list might change next week because models keep appearing every day. Benchmarks keep changing, as you just saw with Meta Lama 4 or even with Mistral. And there are a lot of models which I cannot cover due to the time constraint. But still, I think uh, we are really living in very interesting times. Now, if you have any model which you think should be in the list, mention it in the comments with the uh, use case you are using it for. Feel free to share your thoughts too before I let you go. Let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are Camel AI. Camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling laws with applications in data generation, task automation and world simulation. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you are already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thank you.